Unraveling Idioms, Understanding as Mad as a Hatter. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of idioms. Specifically, we'll explore the phrase, as mad as a hatter. This expression has a rich history and an interesting meaning. Stay tuned as we unravel its origins, meaning, and usage in the English language. The phrase, as mad as a hatter, is an idiom used to describe someone who is behaving in a strange or crazy manner. The word, mad, in this context doesn't necessarily mean angry, it's more synonymous with insanity or eccentricity. This expression is often used in a light-hearted or humorous way. The origin of, as mad as a hatter, is quite intriguing. It dates back to the 17th and 18th centuries in France and England. Hatters, or hat makers, used mercury nitrate in the hat making process. Prolonged exposure to mercury vapors led to mercury poisoning, causing symptoms like tremors, slurred speech, and hallucinations, often perceived as madness. This occupational hazard is where the term, mad hatter, originated. This idiom was popularized by Lewis Carroll's character, the Mad Hatter, in his famous book, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. The character, known for his eccentric and nonsensical behavior, further cemented the phrase in English literature. Since then, as mad as a hatter, has been used in various forms of media, including movies, books, and TV shows, often to describe quirky or unpredictable characters. Let's look at some examples of how this idiom is used in everyday conversations. 1. Did you see that guy talking to himself in the park? He was as mad as a hatter. 2. My aunt has the most bizarre ideas for her inventions. She's as mad as a hatter, but a genius. These examples show how the phrase is used to describe someone's unusual or eccentric behavior in a humorous or exaggerated way. We hope this exploration of the idiom, as mad as a hatter, has been enlightening and entertaining. Remember, idioms are a vital part of language learning and offer a glimpse into the culture and history of a language. Keep exploring, and don't forget to have fun with the language. Until our next linguistic adventure, happy learning!